Welcome, curious minds. Have you ever felt that tightrope walk between happiness and sadness and wondered, why is life so bittersweet? You are in for an enlightening ride as we explore how sorrow and longing can actually complete us. Inspired by Susan Cain's groundbreaking book, Bittersweet, How Sorrow and Longing Make Us Whole. So grab a cozy blanket and settle in. Today's journey is deeply human and profoundly personal. Many of us think of bittersweet as that peculiar taste of dark chocolate. But delve deeper, and you will realize it is a taste life often serves us. Susan Cain's exploration into this dual emotion provides insights that might just change your perspective on life. Starting with personal anecdotes, Cain shares her own brushes with sorrow, from the loss of a beloved pet to grappling with existential fear. What she found was an underlying thread, a silver lining in every cloud, a lesson behind every tear. Drawing from history, Cain talks about the world's greatest thinkers and artists. Do you know what Vincent van Gogh, Sylvia Plath, and Ludwig van Beethoven had in common? Besides their incredible talent, they all experienced profound moments of sorrow which deeply influenced their works. This depth of emotion, Kane suggests, brings about unparalleled creativity. Using science as a backbone, Kane delves into psychological studies and neuroscientific research. It's here that we learn about the paradoxical benefits of negative emotions. For instance, Sorrow can enhance empathy, deepen interpersonal relationships, and even boost memory. Surprising, right? And who could forget the poetic perspective? Kane beautifully quotes poets like Emily Dickinson and Rainer Maria Rilke, emphasizing how sorrow and longing are not just emotions, but a muse to many. Pain enlarges the world, Rilke wrote, suggesting that with every heartbreak, our worldview expands, our compassion deepens, and our spirit grows. Speaking of growth, if this exploration is resonating with you and you wish to see this channel grow, why not show some love and hit that like button? Through the lens of philosophy, Cain touches upon the teachings of the Stoics, Buddhists, and even contemporary thinkers. They all converge on one point, that the acceptance of impermanence, sorrow, and longing can lead to liberation a sense of purpose, and profound contentment. But here is the golden nugget from Cain's book. To be truly whole is to embrace and dance with every emotion that comes our way. Life is not about avoiding storms, but learning to dance in the rain. As we meander towards the end of our exploration, it is essential to internalize this. Your emotions, even the challenging ones, are a gift. They enrich your tapestry of experiences, adding depth, color, and texture. Before we part, a question lingers. What other profound topics are you curious about? What other books have touched your soul? Share with us. Your insights and interests are the heartbeat of this channel, and we would love to hear from you. So, until our next emotional expedition, remember to cherish every emotion, every tear, and every laugh. Because in the grand symphony of life, it is the highs and lows that compose the most beautiful melodies.